Hey, buddy Ripper. Very happy with that. Yeah. I'm the coffee bush kid and again we're still in the UK on our UK adventure we're at a new place that we're staying at I've been given permission to this glorious little field certainly be able to scratch an itch here and my first my first uh, signal that I got a really decent signal 16 17 a little bit of 15 in there and then in that hole, which, oh, let's say it's, it's a good four inches. I've got that. And you'll be saying, what the hell is that? And I'll be saying that that is a plow to go on a toy tractor. It will go on a toy tractor, it will, Travis. <laughs> Look up plow. It's a ripper. I've never found one of those before. So, um, very happy. Who knows, I might find the tractor. That'd be, whoop, that'd be bloody brilliant. But in the interim, we'll just take the plough. Now, I also got a, a key I didn't film. But this is my third target here. So we are oh, another good four inches down. Have a good look. Behind there, I reckon that's a coin. I do so reckon that's a coin. It's a bit slick. It's very slick, in fact. But that's interesting. Oh, there's some sort of... It almost could look like a Vicky. I don't know. We'll give it a clean up and we'll see what we've got. Alrighty, we can see there we've got ourselves a Vicky, and it is 18, oh look at that, 1891. So that's not bad, just in a field where I didn't know whether I'd get anything or not. I've got a plough, a key, and an 1891 Vicky Penny. We're riding a winner all the way. <clears throat> now this one... It was a good, good six inches down. And we've got this thing. It looks like there's a wreath and writing. Can't make out any of them. That side looks like there's two portraits, really. A king and a queen, an accession to the throne. It's a little bit poignant, isn't it, at the moment? Interesting. So anyway, we will keep going. We haven't gone very far in this field at all, and we've already got some interesting finds, so we'll keep going with it, see what else we can snap out of the ground. Well, the finds are coming thick and fast. Um, probably about three inches down. I've got that. I think it might be a poor man's wedding band. Can't see much on it. Looks like it's made of copper. A very coppery brass alloy. Anyway, interesting little find. In a field that I knew nothing about at all. Don't know what the history is. There is an old shed just there. A lot of the find, or well, the penny in that up in there. So I'm just working my way around. Having a good time. Keep finding stuff in the ground. So we'll keep going with that. Well, I'm just over by a walking path. These things go through people's property and they're bloody littered all over the place. It's amazing. I got permission for this property, so I have permission for the path. And upon the path, we've got a 17 signal. And we got that. A very, very slick... I believe it's a Vicky Vale head. On the other side with Britannia. 
there's Britannia. I can see 18, can't see anything else. So late 1800s, half a penny. But well, that's not bad not for, uh, for just mooching around. We'll see what else is out there. Well, all I'm doing <clears throat> is just going around, a swing's worth around the outside, just seeing what's around. I can't go there because there's bees, so, so I'm about to start to head out and around. But we've got a 22, 23 signal here. Sounded a fair way down, dug a deep hole. Oh, look at that. There we go. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll clean it up. See what we got. It's probably another Vicky Penny. But we shall find out. I was wrong. It wasn't a Vicky. It's a George V. What date? Nineteen twenty-one. That's pretty cool. A twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, and we are that far down. It's a fair depth, and all the way down there, I can see a coin. <clears throat> It's about the size of a two cent piece and I'd be absolutely flabbergasted if it was. But we will clean it up and we'll find out what it is. Look, if I didn't know any better, I would say that was potentially a George the Fourth farthing. So 1820 to 1827. You see, I reckon you can see his ear his hair, he's facing the opposite way to George III and the back is toasted but that's what I'm going to say it is, I'm, I'm happy enough with the with the George IV uh, farthing well not very far along the path from my um, farthing at a depth of, of, of again a really good 8 inches I've scraped it out, we can just see it down there. Look at that. Another little green crusty coin. We'll have to clean that one up and see what we've got as well. Back with you in a tick. Well, there's the worst side. We can just see some letters down there. Can't really see a shape. Yeah, there's an S, that's good for us. Well, that nearly looks like a head that way, doesn't it? I wonder... I uh, wonder if this is George the First. Doesn't look like... Don't know. I don't know. This side... Does it say London? L-O-N-D-O-N. It does say London. I wonder then whether this is a token. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to do a bit of buddy research on that, but I'm happy enough to say that that's pretty close to spelling London. Or maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. I don't know, it does also look like a D. Who knows? We'll try and figure it out later on. We'll keep detecting in the meantime. All right, I'm not down far from where I got the token. So there's where we're staying. Here's the pathway. Vroom, straight back over to a gate there. We're not that far away from it. And in this hole here, ugh, just in the bottom there. Yeah. Keep it there with me. Huh? Bonk. There we go, we've got this one. Just at a glance. Let's say two shillings. That says two shillings. Oh, you bloody ripper. It may not be that old though. Because it's not silver. I think I see George the Sixth. 
let's have a clean up and we'll see what we really have that 1947 i think that says 1947 hey mish mish i think i had 1947 florin we'll clean it up we'll see for sure wow these things don't clean up nice it is a 1947 florin there is george the sixth i don't know what they made the english coins out of but bloody hell so we can still see two shillings and the date there it is we can just make out one nine four seven so it is a 1947 florin but not at all like ours Anyway, I've got one now. We'll keep going with it. I'm not doing too bad along this footpath. I'm almost down to the gate, which is just there. Plugs out. Coins there. Yeah. It came up as a 16. There's Queen Elizabeth. So... Who knows what this is? I bet if I give it a good bloody what for with a brush, I'm gonna lose everything. Hmm. Might nearly do that just to see what it is. Back in a tick. Alright. Well, it's the same head as we've got on our one cent pieces, and it's about the same size. But. You see a crown there along this side right at the top it says penny i suppose it's a half penny i don't know don't know at all i suppose i'll find out eventually by the end of the video we might know what it is anyway we will keep seeing what we can find in the ground well lurking about seven inches down There we go, we can see that. There's Britannia. That looks like... If I do that... 1891. There we are. A Vicky Halfpenny. She's a bit sleek, but it's it's not bad looking. There we go, that's a bit better. We do that. There we go. 1891. Vicky half penny. That's pretty good. We go look for something else. A good strong 14, maybe nearly 15. And we get that from about four inches. Is that another farthing? Ah, oops, sorry, too close. I see Britannia and a date. And a Victoria. So let's have a look at what we've got. There we are, 1888 farthing. Certainly seen better days. Something's hit it and knocked it and it's all starting to buddy fall apart and rot. Now here looks quite good. Yeah. 1888. Hmm. Nearly should call this the farthing field. I've never found so many in one spot before. Yeah. We'll keep looking. Well, I had a 29 to 32 signal. And I just bloody missed it. It was just down in the corner there. And that's as far as I've got. If we're back in Australia, I'd say token. But by geez, it's big enough for a bloody token. How is that? Uh, can't make anything out. Oop. 
She's a corker though. We'll have a bit of a gentle clean up. And we'll see what we've got. Okay. I think that that is a George the Third, 1806 penny. We've got Georgius around here, and I think there's three marks up the top. One eight oh, probably six, might be seven. We don't find them with that much rim and detail in Australia. Britannia will be somewhere buried underneath all that. Can't make her out. But yeah, we only get an outline. So yeah, that's what I think that is. Still, that is over 200 years old. Pretty amazing. We'll keep going. Button. This one has a shank. Points are awarded for that one. I can find four whole buttons anywhere. And there's an old, uh, it's a union key. I can, oh, it's got 10. I dare say that's a 10 pence. One pence. Five pence. A spendable Kraken in prints. Hey. What is it? That is a 20p. Well, I'm out for the last time on this great little permission that I've had, Victorian Georgian permission. And down about eight inches, I've got this. Another penny of some ilk. Oh, that's an Eddie the seventh. Cool, that'll be somewhere between uh, 1901 and 1910. I won't bother cleaning him up. Uh, we'll keep going because I haven't got long on the field left. But that's not a bad find and we'll take it. Yesterday I was playing over that side of the field. Today on the last bit I'm doing all this section. I got a 17 signal. Look at that. That is a keg tap key and it's in good nick except someone may well have just clipped it with a bloody spade but anyway that's that's a good little find beautiful little artifact that one that's cool we'll take that and we'll keep going sorry about the wind that's in a shocking position there we go, it was an 18. Yes, we are talking coin. Beautiful. Not a button. And, there we go. There's young Victoria. Yeah. Oh, and we can even get a date really nice and easy. 1861. There you go. 1861 half penny. That's all right. We'll keep going with this one. Well, a nice 17 signal, and it got me that. Yeah, that's a bit of fancy. I don't know how good a nick it's in, but I did see something shining at me when I turned it over before. Yep. It's a bit flash. Looks like it may well have had another stone on the inside of it. And that's gone. But I think that's a bit of old. Probably, I would say, Victorian junk jewellery. Costume jewellery. Still not a bad little find, though. We'll keep going. Well, you can see how far down that is. 
but you might just be able to see in the pile there it was a 24 25 signal and we got that uh, oh that's an elizabeth there you go geez it'd be funny if it was a rue penny wouldn't it but oh you ripper i wanted one of these yeah, my funny bucket list. That is a ship half penny. Oh, that's cool. We can see the date 1966 there. So I might leave it at that. You'll see a better one of that uh, in the wrap up. But yeah, a ship half penny. Hey, buddy Ripper. Very happy with that. Well, that wind's a bit of a shocker. But I'll show you the numbers. They were 27, 28, <clears throat> but you've, um... oh, is that a nice imprint I see there? Oh, that could be a nice coin. That's a big one. It's probably a date there. It's probably a Vicky. Could be a George. Oh, I don't know. There's going to be one way we'll find out. Well, I would have thought that was going to be a Vicky, but it's an Elizabeth. 1961. Gee. I've got better Vickies than that. Anyway, let's see what else is here before we have to leave. Well, I think the signal was 1920. And right down there, and... Oh. We are, oh, bloody good eight inches. A good eight inches. You see that? Oh, yeah. Well, that looks like a darkened half penny, doesn't it? That's the Britannia side. Yeah, last time I said this, it said, oh, it'll probably be a Vicky. And I can't tell who that is. Probably is a Vicky. I don't know. We're going to have to find out, aren't we? All right, we are back, and that is as slick as slick. I think it is a Vicky. Can't even get a date there. But I would be happy enough to say that that's a Victoria. I reckon you can just see a bun there. Anyway, that's what we've got. Well, a 22 to 24 signal in the, I've decided to call it the Field of Six Monarchs. And we can, there we go. It's another little farthing. Don't know, bit green. We'll have to um, we'll have to give it a clean. See what we've got. Well, that is toasted and roasted, and I do not know what it is. I don't know whether that's. No, I don't even reckon that's Britannia. I don't know. Johnny, no name. Anyway, it is a coin though. We did find it, and in the field of six monarchs it's all right oh, i got a i can't even remember what the signal was it just oh 23 24 that's right and there in the plug looks like i've got me another 20p a good 1920 signal good six inches there we go we've got us another coin an absolute coin fest this bloody field <clears throat> oh I reckon that could be a George the sixth yep George the fifth there we are that's all right that'll be an old half penny Tanya's sitting on the throne there 
We'll keep going, see if there's any more in the in the ground to find. Well, this one was nearly 10 inches down. And there it is. Someone's put a hole in it. And it is very, very thin. But on that side, <clears throat> it's got something on it. I don't know whether that's a design, whether it's writing. I'm wondering whether it is a jetton. Might have to ask Sid tomorrow. But very unusual, got some age to it. Who knows? All the interesting finds that I have found in this field of monarchs. Very interesting. Been a good time here. Well, a 17, 18 signal. We can see that. That's as far as I've got. There's the imprint. There's the coin. Yeah, only one of them. Half a penny. Oops. 1876. Well, we know that that'll be a Vicky. There she is. Good stuff. Had a lot of Vicky pennies out of here. Oh, uh, half pennies and so forth. That's pretty cool. A lot of coins on this field. Anyway, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your data detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.